In this edition of the An the world of Android, uh, I'm going to show all you guys how to install the ADB. I've been hearing all the time. Uh, how do you install it? It's not working because I've had in my older tutorial I showed you guys how to install it the old way. Now since they updated everything, um, everything's a little bit different. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it um, the new way. What you're going to have to do is you guys are going to have to go to Google, Google search it, um, ADB or SDK. Um, I'll have the link in the description, but um, you would want to download Windows or Linux or whatever you have. I've already installed it, as you guys can see. I mean, um, downloaded it. It's a RAR file or zip file, I should say. So you guys would have to extract it onto your desktop or wherever you want to put it. Um, best place to put it would probably be in your um, computer file. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just move it in there. Stick it in there like so. Okay. Now, the, you're not going to get ADB right off the bat when you get it because you go to tools, you're going to be looking you're like, oh, where's ADB? It's not in here. Well, if you read this little text file, it's talking about has been moved. And if you don't have it in your directory, you're going to have to um, download it from the SDK AVD manager. So all you got to do is go back and launch the SD um, manager. Super antivirus popping up, but it'll pop up and I'll show you guys step to step on how to uh, get it to work and install. As soon as it'll pop up. What? Shut up. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, it should have worked. All right, there we go. Now it's working. This is going to be all the little things that you can download if you're trying to develop an application. You don't have to do all that. Just go to uh, available packages. Go to Android. That one. Install. Accept. I would probably accept all just in case. Install. And wait for it to download. And I'll install. This is a package that depends on ADB has been updated. Would you like to restart ADB now? Yes. I already have it installed, so I was going to restart it, which I'm doing for you guys. Installing package installed. Killed. Done. Okay. Now, since it's done, it should be in the tools. I'm not mistaken. Wait, ADB has moved. Platform tools. Platform tools. Aha. ADB. Now, um, that's where it should be at. 
if it's not in there when you guys get it, it probably is. I didn't check it before, but now it's in there. If it's not, if it wasn't in there before, now the next step is you're going to have to update your variables. Right click your computer, uh, properties. Uh, I'm trying to remember advanced system settings. If you're running Vistas or um, or um, Windows 7 like I am, you go to environment and then you would create a new path. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Variable name, path, and then you just select that, copy it, or type it all in if you can't do it. And then V, and then hit OK, and then that. And then hit OK, and everything should be working fine. So if you in plug in your device like mine, which I'm doing right now. If you have to, if some drivers you might have to download the like me, I had to download Samsung drivers and install them for certain things to work. Uh, those like this, you don't need it no more. Go into here. You can type in ADB devices. Enter, and it should list what device you have attached, and it can be like ADB Shell, and then bow you're in Shell, or ADB install, such and such, whatever you're trying to do. That's pretty much the gist of it if you're trying to debug. Um, this applies for any device. Um, like I said, some um, phones need drivers. If you need, a, if you need the drivers, they're on the SDK web page. For tools, or no, USB tools, um, there should be like, yeah, the OEM, um, USB drivers, you can find all the devices on here, like for instance, like mine, Samsung, I can just click on there and they'll take me to the site and I can download them all. So, that's pretty much it. If you guys like what I told you guys, please subscribe. There's going to be more tutorials and reviews and everything you guys like. If you have any suggestions, IM me or comment. Um, so, that's it. All right. Talk to you guys later.